Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to kind of continue the mystery about that broken motor. Um, it's actually probably a broken motor port, but I'm going to show you just some things that I've seen um, plugging it into my computer. Just some things where you've been asking, hey, what's going on with this? What's going on with that? Maybe a little bit more testing and see if we can figure out what's going on with this Lego motor port. So if you want to see that, stay with me. So if you guys have not been watching, let me just go ahead and recap. Um, I had a Lego EV3 brick, cables plugged into large motors, into B and C. Um, the mystery is when I do motor control, both motors work fine. When I try to do B and C on a program, that's where I have my issues. So I'm gonna show you that real quick and then get to some of the other mysteries that I've seen. Let's get to the brick. Okay, so we have the brick. Um, B is plugged into the left motor. Uh, C is plugged into the right motor. I'm on motor control. So, so right now the left motor is turning. The right motor is turning. So under motor control, both motors do fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at port view and see what that says. So it's saying B is fine and C is fine. No port errors, nothing. Okay, so for a brick program here, all I have is a forward for 10 seconds, no, five seconds. Now let's make it, let's make it 10. So here's the problem. When I try to run this program, only the C motor is turning. The one that's plugged into C, the B motor is not turning at all. Let's run that again. So C motor's turning, B motor, Look like it wants to turn, but it's really not. Here's something else that's very interesting. On port view, if I go to my B motor, it's picking up those degrees of rotation. If I switch it to C, we're getting nothing. No rotations. Go back to B, it's picking up those rotations. Weird, huh? Okay, something else that's weird is if I go ahead and go to an empty project here, and I look under my uh, port view here on the computer, same thing. I'm getting the degrees or ro of rotation add up for the B. I'm spinning the C motor. I'm getting nothing there. And if we go ahead and do a move tank, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do 50% power for 10 seconds. And then we'll go to the video and see what the robot does. Okay. So let's go ahead and play that 50% motor speed for 10 seconds. So now the C motor is wanting to, to turn and this B motor is not doing anything. Weird, huh? Okay, so I swapped out a cable. Let's see if we have the same issue. So the C motor is going. You can see the B is trying to rotate there. Okay, so after swapping it to A and D, let's go ahead and test this out. We're getting degrees from the rotations off of A. 
and we're getting the degrees off of rotations for D. So like we said before, A and D are working fine. If port B was really not working, you would think no motor could work. So I have it hooked up here to this medium motor. And the medium motor works fine in port B. Let's go ahead and switch it to C. Let me switch it on the computer. And do you see how much faster that's spinning? And if you can see over here, we have the caution flag over that motor. So C's got some issues and I don't know what it is. Okay guys, so there you have it. I mean, we still have the motor issue. Um, if I need to run a program with both motors going, it's still gonna have to be A and D. Um, I still can't do a brick program here on this brick. So the mystery is still up in the air. Um, I don't know if it's one of those things where it's just going to always have to be like that. You can still throw me down um, ideas and I'll try them out. But other than that, there's going to be a note on this brick saying only A and D until we can solve this mystery. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Zygo Robotics. I'm out.